So, in general, what I want to tell, Ukrainian people are very friendly, they're very kind, they're always ready to help, they're hospitable. And if you will find some friends here and even, of course, your dream lady, you will get a lot of pleasant emotions here and you will really enjoy being in Ukraine. Uh, let's say you're meeting with men. Uh, it's always nice if you will shake hand and always try to extend your hand first. So it is considered to be very polite here. And uh, regarding women, our women, Ukrainian women, they didn't use to shake hands with men. For me, it's no problem because I communicate many years with foreign people, so I don't see anything problematic in this. I can shake hands with every man, no problem. But in general, if you can extend your hand to a woman, uh, in most cases you will get some reaction like mm, why she will try to hide her arm, why you think me, uh, you treat me as a man, why you try to shake my hands. So like it means you don't uh, look at her as a woman. So uh, better not to do this here in Ukraine. If you meet with men, shaking hands is always good and considered to be well manner, but not for a woman. Okay guys, keep it in mind. In our previous episode, if you remember, we discussed bad and good presents. So also, if some of you missed that episode, I can remind uh, here also a about flowers. If you go here for the first date or maybe second, doesn't matter, and you still want to bring flowers, or if you're invited to somebody's birthday party, or you want just to bring flowers to someone, uh, please remember, you need to bring only odd number of flowers never two four six eight ten because we always bring uh, even number to just to funeral so if you bring uh, such amount of flowers to some of people they will consider you wish their death so <laughs> it can be funny of course because people will understand you're a foreigner and maybe you're not aware of this tradition because in some other countries this is quite opposite situation with flowers number but here in ukraine only odd number please remember these guys <sighs> let's talk about a little if you're invited to some party uh, and you're going to drink alcohol i can tell you what uh, first of all if you're not going to drink at all you just don't feel comfortable to drink with unfamiliar people or you just don't want or you don't feel good today so you just need to let people know in advance, guys, I'm not going to drink here. Be please strict, straight, speak with respect, but make the firm statement. I'm not going to drink or I don't drink at all. So guys, don't insist, please. Because local people, especially men, if they're going to drink something, they can be quite demanding. And if you refuse to drink with them, they can think this is kind of disrespect. So they start to be offended, like not satisfied and try to convince you and insist, come on, let's drink, you're a man, stop, you're not the lady, let's drink, you don't respect me. Try to avoid such phrases, such communication and do it just before your party and make kind of announce, guys, I'm not going to drink with you. But if you're drinking and if it's okay for you, never, guys, never compete with local people and never mix vodka and beer together. In this case, your morning after will be the worst nightmare for you. You will remember this day forever. Believe me, you will never going to win if you compete in drinking with local people. Most of them used to drink hard, they know how to do it, they know their measures. For you, as for the beginner, like freshener, it can be a real disaster. So please uh, be aware of this situation and try to keep it in mind. Never mix some different alcohol types and if you don't want to drink at all, just let people know in advance. Okay, guys? Regarding drinking also, which is very important, my recommendation is never drink with unfamiliar people. Let's imagine the situation. You're on the street, maybe you lost your way, maybe you need to buy something in the shop and you cannot do it, and somebody 
agreed to help you. Man or woman, doesn't matter. If you're very grateful and uh, you think it would be good to invite some person to the next bar to drink something for acquaintance and for beginning of communication, better to avoid this and never leave your glass with the drink without your control. Because when you go to the restroom, your glass stand on the table, you can be easily poisoned and robbed. Something can be put in your glass, you will never know about this. And believe me, after you can get in such situation, you will be robbed and you will even not forget what happened with you last few hours. So please be aware. Never bring unfamiliar people to your accommodation. Try to meet with them on neutral territory, some places, public places, where lots of people can be around you, who can watch you and maybe help you in specific situation. And, of course, try not to drink anything together with unfamiliar people, or at least take your glass under control always. This is very important, as well as with taxi. Uh, some of you just come at the airport, uh, come outside and you know lots of people there offer their service like taxi driver and they can bring you to Kyiv or to another place. Don't do this guys. If you need taxi, just try to be in the company with some local person or just use specific service, taxi service, call and order the taxi. In this case, the price will be appropriate and you will be safe because you will never know what is going to happen with you if you just take taxi outside with unfamiliar driver. First of all, price can be double more and uh, you can be brought just to another place and something bad can happen to you. So don't forget about this moment as well. Let's imagine the situation. You're at the supermarket or you're at the restaurant. You're standing in the line and you're going to pay your bill and something. I recommend you highly, never open your purse too widely, okay? People who is next to you mustn't see what you have in your purse, especially if there are dollars there, so, and big amount. You can always get into trouble if you make like this, like advertisement. So when you count your money, better to prepare maybe go before to the restroom and prepare a specific amount in your pocket so you just take out from your pocket but not making like you count from your purse and people watch it. So after people can chase you and rob. I think nobody needs cheap thrills here in Ukraine and nobody is gonna spoil their journey just because of such small things. So please take care about your purse always. Uh, try not to put it in your back pocket Okay, sometimes it can be seen and people just can take it out in public transport or maybe you are in the crowd, you even won't feel it, but some people can take it out. So, watch out. Regarding trips all over Ukraine, if you decide to move from city to city, to go sightseeing, to see some historical places and you would like just to travel and to explore the Ukraine, uh, it's always better to use train. It's more safe. Uh, don't rent car. Even if you feel you're a very good driver and you feel confident, in order to stay safe and secure, I would recommend you to take just train. First of all, not so much accidents happen with trains. First of all, condition of our roads um, are awful in most cases. And local drivers sometimes can be aggressive and usually they break the rules. So in this case, even if you get into the car accident or something, you will get really into trouble and police will do it for a very long time and they can try to prolong the procedure. And probably if you are alone, it would be very difficult to convince people it wasn't your fault. So my recommendation is always in this case, use train or at least if you have some friends some local friends and if you're going to trip with them maybe take some company with you and maybe in this case it will be much more safer so guys if you don't want to be detained uh, till fully identification of your personality uh, try to keep your passport always with you it's very important tip for you 
So, in general, what I want to tell, Ukrainian people are very friendly, they're very kind, they're always ready to help, they're hospitable. And if you will find some friends here and even, of course, your dream lady, you will get a lot of pleasant emotions here and you will really enjoy being in Ukraine. But if you will keep these rules, if you will be wise and careful, so just always remind about your security. Don't make mistakes and try uh, not to get in touch with unfamiliar people too much. In this case, everything will be fine, completely fine with you. So guys, I wish all of you nice trips, safe and secure. Try to get as much positive emotions as you can. And I hope your travel to Ukraine always will be successful and pleasant in every possible way. So, also want to mention uh, that in our next episode we are going to discuss the difference between Ukrainian and Russian girls. I think lots of you guys still thinking what's the difference. And I would like to mention this difference in our next episode uh, to make it more clear for you guys that you have better understanding if there are really difference between these two nations. So, don't forget to subscribe our channel Please like our episode and press notification bell button not to miss our next episodes. Also guys, I'm waiting for your feedback. Please write your comments, write your questions. And if you miss our last episodes, you can simply find them in the comments below. I wish you all good luck and success. Never be afraid to travel to Ukraine. You're always welcome here. Bye-bye guys.